Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an action query in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, as you can see, uh, action query, what it does basically, it performs an action and give me the result accordingly. Basically, it searches for the database information from the table and it matches the specific criteria. And whenever I dis run this particular query, it display me the result in the tabular form. In this video, we are going to learn how to create an action query by creating an action. Let's say that we are going to add the total of different marks. We will be having a database in which we will be having the uh, student name out there and the student's marks and we will perform an action to calculate the subtotal of each and every record that is my each and every student. We will have a better understanding of how to create an action query in our practical approach. So let's go ahead and do this. In our previous video, we have already learned how to create a parameter query. In this video, we are going to perform an action. An action can be anything. I will try to perform an operation, an operation like uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication or division, anything. I'll make it simple and I'll keep it simple by performing an action query to add the field list. All right. So let's go and quickly create a table so that we can add this field list so I'll make this as ID I'm creating a student database so out here it will be an auto number uh, let's assign a primary key to this uh, out here it will be the student name it will be a short text again uh, these are the subjects so add this as a number make this as chem make it short I'll do this as a number and by uh, let's take this as mass all right and I'll keep this as a number all right so far so good uh, I need to save this so I'll simply click on save make this as marks and I'll simply hit ok all right so the table has been created out here I'll simply double click the moment you double click this will be under the data sheet view right in the data sheet view I'll make some entries let's say I have Jimmy take some random numbers this as 76 I'll take another one. Let's take Shane. All right. 60. Make this as 50 and make this as 80. One more entry. Let's say Smith. Simple. We'll keep it simple. 50 and let's take as 80 and this will be an 80. All right. So I have my student database ready. So what I'm going to do out here, I have created a table for students with their respective subject and I need to add a total for the same. Right. So I have my table ready. Now I'll go to the create tab and under the create tab, I will move to the query design. So the moment I click on query design, it is asking me which table you need to show. Yes, this is the table which I wanted. I'll simply hit on the add button. I have this table. I'll close this. Now it's not needed. I want the name of the students out here. So I'm picking up. It says the field will be student from the table. That is my marks table. Uh, I'll add physics out here, chem, and we have maths. All right. Now out here, I need to build an expression so that it adds all three, or you can also use a total parameter, but we are going to create an action. So let's go and build a parameter. So I'll just right click on it and select build. Now before I start off, let's just name it, um, name this as total and I'll simply right click and say build an expression. So it says total right now. It, this is my name of the field list. Now I want to add all these three. So I have to make sure that I enter the field list in the square bracket and I'll make sure that I do not make any kind of mistake in the spelling. So it says plus again the square bracket. It will be for chem close the bracket plus it will be for maths. OK, so I forgot the bracket. So open bracket maths. Let's make sure that I do not uh, I have not done any kind of mistake in the spelling. Right. I'll cross check and OK, it's perfect. Absolutely fine. I'll simply hit OK. Now I have the total. Let's see if I go and perform this. I'll, I'll run this query and see whether this is working or not. I'll simply hit on the run button. Now, as you can see, it has performed an activity. It has added all the three total. If you can see the total of this can be seen out here for Shane, it can be seen as 190 and for Smith it is 210. If you add all these, you will get the appropriate total. So guys, this is how you can create a action query depending on what operation you have to perform using the build expression and you can perform an action query like this in Microsoft Access 2016.